In this section, we will go over the steps to perform a dynamic resistance test with the Vanguard CT8000S3. Before performing any tests, all safety precautions must be observed. Please follow your workspace's safety guidelines and procedures along with the following warnings and precautions. Please make sure that all circuit breakers being tested are offline and fully isolated. For operator safety, we recommend grounding both sides of the breaker before making any cable connections. Confirm that all cables are connected properly. Lastly, do not remove any test leads during testing. We will be testing a single phase and making cable connections as shown here. First, start by connecting the CT8000S3's ground terminal to the substation ground. Now, connect the current and sense cables as shown here. Next, we will connect the digital transducer to the CT8000 as shown here. Then, we will use the supplied initiate cable to connect to the breaker's control circuit. The initiate circuit acts like a switch to energize the trip or close coil. In this illustration, the initiate circuit will connect terminal 5, which is the positive DC source, to terminal 7 of the circuit breaker closed circuit. On the trip circuit, the initiate circuit will connect the positive DC supply to terminal 9 of the trip circuit. Once you have made all cable connections, remove the ground cable from one side of the breaker. To start performing a dynamic resistance test, we're going to select the time breaker option from the main menu by pressing the 1 key. Now we will press the 4 key to select the dynamic resistance test. On this screen, we are going to select whether there is an insertion resistor or not, and for this example, we will press 1 for no. Now we will select the trigger mode by pressing 1 for internal trigger. On this screen, we will select the type of test to be performed. In this case, we will press 1 to select an open test. Now, hold down the arm switch and then press the start key to start performing the test. Continue holding down the arm switch until testing is complete. Once testing is finished, we will be returned to the main menu. Once we've performed a test, we can print the test results to the unit's built-in thermal printer. To print the test results, select Get Results by pressing the 2 key. We are now presented with multiple options for printing the test results. We're going to select Plot Full Chart by pressing the 2 key. For the dynamic resistance plot, we're going to select 0 to 2000 microohms by pressing the 2 key. And now the test results are going to be printed on the unit's thermal printer. Once printing is completed, you will be returned to the main menu. Next, we will take a closer look at the test results. Here is a sample printout of the dynamic resistance test results from the CT8000S3's thermal printer. The x-axis represents time in milliseconds, while the y-axis represents resistance in microohms. From this graph of an open breaker operation, we can see that as the breaker opens and we reach the contact tip, the resistance spikes since the contact tip is made of a higher resistance material. And then we can see the resistance going to infinity as the breaker continues to open completely.